She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad features you find the Hi everyone, it's your girl Jen and today I am coming at you with a makeup tutorial I'm gonna be showing you like this iced out glittery cat eye that I've been loving to wear on summer nights out so let's get started. So first up, I'm gonna use Fenty Beauty's Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm. My lips have been insanely chapped for God knows what reason. Like I need to have product on it at all times or else they just kind of shrivel up like little raisins. Not ideal. It has been making me use more different types of chapsticks and uh, I've been really liking this one because it just feels a little luxe and I love doe foot applicators and it does act as a nice gloss and hydrates as well. Now moving on to sunscreen, I gotta protect my face. I am using Supergoop's Unseen Sunscreen. This has SPF 40 and someone clocked me in about not using enough SPF. So I'm wondering, is this an adequate amount? I don't know. It's a slight improvement from before. And as you can see, my face just absorbed it very quickly and it doesn't leave my face shiny. We are not going for a dewy look today. We want something matte, and only dewy in the appropriate areas that we would like it to be. All right, we're gonna continue to prep the face. Gonna go in with a primer. This is Lancome's Prep and Matte. I'm just gonna focus on putting this product just where my face tends to get a little bit more oily, which is the T-zone. So I'm gonna drag the product down to my smile lines as well because it just kind of fills in this like crevice that is continuing to grow as I get older. But it's not a bad thing. I mean, I smile a lot, so it makes sense that a groove is happening there. Prep is finished. I'm gonna go in with foundation. This is by Bobbi Brown. This is their Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation, SPF 15. This is a pretty full coverage foundation. This is definitely one of the most mattifying foundations that I own. I normally like to go for something more dewy, but since it's summer and my face is like secreting more oil, so I'm just using products that are gonna grow with me and evolve with me throughout the day and just kind of set myself up for success. And I just used one pump of this and it's enough to cover up my face in just like a chill, non-aggressive way. All right, moving on to concealer. I am using Fenty Beauty's Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 210. So I'm gonna try Jackie Ina's technique of concealer where she applies the product and she just kind of lets it sit for a minute. As this is doing its thing, I am gonna be efficient and I'm gonna go in with my brows. Hourglass's Brow Sculpting Pencil and I'm just gonna draw in my brows. All right, so now that the brows are done, I guess we should start blending out the concealer. So apparently the reason why leaving your concealer on to set a little bit before you blend it out is because it just increases the longevity of your concealer and it prevents creasing, or at least it reduces creasing. So now to set this all, I'm gonna use ColourPop's No Filter Setting Powder. I'm gonna do a baby dusting underneath my eyes, and then I'm just gonna go to town on the rest of my face. We want a very matte look today. I would say this powder is quite dry, so a little bit goes a long way with this guy. And I'm also gonna pat down my eyelid because I wanna make sure that there's no moisture or wetness on there because since we're doing such a dramatic cat eye look, I don't want it to kind of transfer onto my lids. I have practiced doing this makeup look a good four times before I felt comfortable filming this because this is one of the most ambitious makeup looks I've ever done before. I am gonna go in with ColourPop's Uh Huh Honey palette. This is a really fun yellow palette. I definitely wanna do like a yellow eye for you guys next, but let's tackle this glitter one first. So I'm gonna go in with Buzzkill, which is kind of like a nice, easy blending shade. And I'm just gonna pop this all over the outer crease just to kind of give my eyes a little bit more dimension. I'm just gonna work on blending this all out with a fluffy brush. This is Morphe's M433. Honestly, you don't even need to use this color. You could just use like your contour shade too. I've done that in the past as well. This is the part that kind of scares me. We're gonna work on the cat eye right now. I'm gonna go in with this palette by Pat McGrath. This is their Mothership palette. And I'm gonna mix these two colors, the black and this shimmery slate gray. And I'm gonna use that to start forming 
the cat eye. So, so I'm using a angled flat brush tip and I'm gonna get my Max Studio Fix Plus and I'm just gonna spray the fuck out of it. Make it real wet. I'm gonna dab a little bit into the slate gray, the glittery slate gray and the black. A little touch of that, a little touch of that. And uh, we're gonna say a little prayer and start on the cat eye. So the plan of action is I'm gonna start at the tip with the angled brush. I'm gonna start dragging the product all over the inner corners of my eyes. And I'm not even gonna start the tail. I'm just gonna make sure that the foundation of at least like the lid is okay before I start venturing out and flicking it out. So I've just wet my brush again, getting the, mixing the two colors. And now I'm gonna start working on the flick. So now I'm gonna work on connecting this tip and you know, bring it in to the rest of the family. I think that looks okay. So now I'm gonna attempt the other eye. So expect to run into an issue like this. I feel like this cat eye is not as perky as this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a Q-tip and I'm just gonna kind of give this one a facelift. I'm also gonna go in the top. Let's try this flick again. So I think this is as even as they're gonna get. We're just gonna continue chugging along. I'm gonna go in with ColourPop Star Party, which is just like a multi-colored gel. And using that same angled brush, I'm gonna just tap the product all over where we've just done the cat eye. Ah, oh my gosh, wow, look at that. So now we're gonna do the exact same thing to the other eye. All right guys, the hard part is now finished. It's only downhill from here, thank God. So I'm just gonna give my lashes a squeeze and I'm gonna put on mascara. So the mascara I'll be using today is Lancome's Definices. So I'm just doing a light coat for the top of my lashes and I'm really just gonna focus on the bottom because this is where it'll look a little bit more defined. I really love this mascara because it is waterproof, does not transfer. And the wand is very small, so I can really get into my baby tiny lashes. So now that we've got the mascara on, I'm going to throw on these big old fluffy lashes on. These are definitely much more dramatic than I would normally wear. Look at that. It made like all the difference. And it does kind of mellow out the, the glitter. So now that the eyes are done, we can continue on with the rest of the face. I'm gonna go in with Fenty Beauty's In The Sun just to chisel my face. This is just a really easy contour shade. I can't really mess up with this shade because it's just like maybe two to three shades darker than my actual face. So that way you can just kind of build up to how much you want to contour. And I'm also gonna do a little something something to my nose. I'm gonna grab this brush by BH Cosmetics. This is in the number five. And I've been liking to use this one to kind of bring out my nose a little bit more. So I'm just gonna go into this region of my face, perk up my nose a little bit, not too much. So now for blush, I'm gonna use Hourglass's Mood Exposure. This is a very easy complimentary blush that goes with any type of eye look. It's just the perfect shade of mauve. It's really coming together. For highlighter, I'm gonna go in with Lancome's Dual Finish Highlighter in Shimmering Buff. This is just like a really pretty, almost like white champagne color. So I'm just gonna tap this where we would like. So we've got one cheekbone, the other one, the tip of the nose, and a slight dusting on the nose bridge. And before I forget, we gotta do the inner corner highlight. So the highlighter is on and now we're gonna finish up with the lip. I'm gonna be boring as fuck and going with a nude color. This is Buxom's Goddess. Personally, I just don't like it when I have like a bold eye with a bold lip. I just feel like my face can't handle that much makeup on my face. So I'm gonna go in with something that I know will look good. I also really like the way these lippies feel because they've got like a slight tingling sensation. I don't know, I, I personally like that buzzing feeling. All right, everyone, this is the finished look. I am very pleased with the way it came out because honestly, it could have been a coin toss. Also, just a heads up, when you're removing this makeup, please be very, very careful. There are glitter parts that should not be in your eye. So what I like to do is I'll get uh, an oil-based cleanser and I'll put it on a cotton round and I'll literally swoop it in one direction. 
I'll flip the cotton round over and I'll swoop it again. And feel free to do this as many times as you want. I personally go through maybe two cotton rounds for each eye just to make sure that I don't have anything in my eye. I am terrified of, you know, ruining my vision. If you guys do decide to do this look, please tag me in a story or a photo with my username at I'm Janim. I would love to like it, repost it, and just kind of admire what you've done as well. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Mwah.